Hello and welcome to One Minute Architecture. It's currently April 2020 and Tokyo is in a lockdown. But here is another video about some books that I think uh, can help you understand the uh, urbanism and architecture of Japan. Ludwig Hildesheimer was an architect's architect. Looking at his visions for a modern metropolis evoke at the same time a dystopian feeling of urban angst as well as a restrained geometrical beauty that has appealed to many architects, including myself. This punk of modernism, as he's often been called, wrote this book, Metropolis Architecture. And yes, that is one word. The idea behind Metropolis Architecture is that the city and architecture are one, literally one organism. This concept would later be picked up by the brilliant Italian architectural quintet, Super Studio. Hilbersheimer had observed that the metropolis had the tendency to extend across the country. And that is what Super Studio did with their continuous monument project, where a gigantic monumental architecture is inserted into the landscape, where the natural and the artificial merge become one. Hilbersheimer wrote, Metropolis architecture is considerably dependent on two factors, the individual cell of the room and the collective urban organism. This resonated with me as I thought this is what basically has happened in Tokyo. When first time visitors come to Tokyo, they are often overwhelmed by its chaotic urbanity. Buildings juggle together with no sense of coordination between them. An architecture in which buildings are placed like islands, completely ignorant of their neighbors. So to these visitors, I would give this book Tokyo Style by the Japanese photographer Kyoichi Suzuki. The book is a series of photographs of interiors, mostly of the photographer's own friends. In Japan, apartments are classified according to the number of rooms that they have. So you have a 1K, meaning one room with a kitchen, out to the ultimate luxury, a 3LDK, living, dining, kitchen with three bedrooms. Most of the rooms in uh, Suzuki's book are in the 1K category. They are tiny and they are crammed with stuff. So here, in the largest conglomerate of the world, we can see it all coming together. Hildesheimer's cell and its relation to the city. Life in Tokyo is dispersed from cell to cell, from where the Tokyoite lives, to where they work, to where they eat, to where they entertain themselves, even to where they have sex. As these pictures and the title of the book rather convincingly shows, the Tokyo style are the single cells. These 1K rooms and other activity-based cells are what forms the urban collective of what Tokyo essentially is. 